NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Town and country where there's always a party yes every weekend there's something to do and there's always great food for you too lamb finger food steak sandwiches Roasted wings and much much more. It's a party and you're invited. Come to Town and Country. Welcome and Newswatch rolls on. Yes, Governor Wolf signed bills expanding prescription drug coverage for 17,000 seniors. Yes, now Act 87 authorizes enhancement to the pharmaceutical assistance contract for elderly, it's called PACENET, program, making the program available to an additional 17,000 seniors. Ensuring that older Pennsylvania has access to health services, including prescription drugs, is a priority of their administration, Wolf administration. The income, the, this income eligibility increase was long overdue and will help thousands of seniors access their prescription medications. Uh, so uh, that's a plus, and um, uh, it provides a $4,000 increase. Total income for a single person can be between fourteen five and twenty seven five. For married couples, seventeen seven to thirty five five. And that'll give them some extra coverage on medications. Now we're going to take this break and hear for, from some extra nice people who want to hear from you. NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Town and country where there's always a party, yes, every weekend there's something to do. And there's always great food for you too. Lamb, finger food, steak sandwiches, roasted wings, and much, much more. It's a party and you're invited. Come to town and country. Welcome to News Watch. You know, we give you a lot of great news. Uh, good things happening and sometimes there's some things that you just got to report well police are investigating um, a shot uh, you know they found one person shot in a parking lot next to the Lawrence County Jail multiple police units and EMS were called and uh, on Milton Street in Newcastle and that was like 1 a.m. on Thursday the condition of the victim remains unclear and uh, no arrests have been made to the point in time when we've recorded this segment now um, Newswatch will continue with a whole bunch more right after these messages The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now it's in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side, and all Cedars, 724-658-9260.
and welcome once again to the Cedar Sports Corner. Let's get to your games. Steelers at the Ravens. Let's go black and gold. Now, the Brownies, well, they're at home against the Chiefs, and here's hoping the Browns pull one out. I'm, I'm hoping. Not a big Browns fan, but what the heck. Now, uh, elsewhere, you've got the Bears at the Bills, the Jets at the Dolphins. That's a family battle for me. The Buccaneers at the Panthers, Lions at the Vikings, Falcons at the Texans, or the Redskins, <laughs> and the Texans, they're at the Broncos. Chargers are at the Seahawks, Rams are at the Saints, and the night game will feature the Packers at the Patriots. So this was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we're going to take this time out. And the, the Rexons, there's a new team. We'll take a time out. I'm going to get a drink. We'll be right back. <laughs> TV 45 Newcastle the train Nico and Sons sells and service 347 East Washington Street Newcastle has lawnmowers of every type zero turn country clippers made in the USA 42 inch to 54 inch cut batteries by Oregon They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-6911. Watch, keeping you informed. Governor Wolf, yes, he's made $2.5 million available to connect teachers and local employers, boost job training for students. Governor Wolf announced that $2.5 million is now available for teachers in workplace grants that will uh, partner with school districts with local businesses resulting in new career opportunities for students. I am firmly committed to giving Pennsylvania students and workers, businesses, the opportunities they need, okay, to survive in the 21st century economy, said Woof. These grants are truly a win-win for all involved as the vital partnership they create between students being prepared for successful entry into the workplace. Now, um, Phil, I have to give you a little commentary. Don't always agree with the guy, but on this one, I think he got it. Okay, we've had several times where those workplace grants have brought students in and they've been able to work, learn, and further their education. Good call on that one. Now, we're going to take this break, and when we return, a whole bunch more. And this is a good call. Take a look at these sponsors. NC TV 45 Newcastle, The Train. Welcome again as News Watch keeps rolling on and UPMC Jameson made the news. Um, they notified uh, about 200 patients of the potential uh, exposure, okay, ultrasound probes that were used in these exams were um, 
They may have not been cleaned properly at UPMC Jameson in Newcastle. The time frame dates back to October 2017. The Internal Quality Assurance Review at UPMC Jameson found that the uh, cleaning process, the proper cleaning process was not documented and followed for the ultrasound probes used in internal prostate um, gynecological exams and obstetrical. Uh, any related health risks are extremely low. Um, so uh, corrective measures were immediately implemented. A report was filed with the Department of Health and they've notified the Joint Commission about this. So um, just a bit of news there. I figure if you're going to see it out there, things seem to go be going okay now and the problem seems to be getting taken care of. So um, Newswatch is going to continue with a whole bunch more right after we hear from these great sponsors. County 45 weather well standing by my the word today is ock <laughs> stay in eat macaroni and watch football because you're not gonna like what I say after last night's mostly cloudy low of 35 when you look at radar you see a little bit of clearing on local and the national and uh, what does that mean for your Sunday well folks this is your best day Partly sunny and a high of 54. Sunday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 45. And then the uh, continues with a cloudy Monday, 60. Karen, if rainy days and Mondays get you down, this isn't your day, 40% chance of rain. Mostly cloudy Monday night with a low of 49. Chance of rain bumps up to 50%. How's your Tuesday? Yep, cloudy, 64. Showers likely because it's 70% chance. And Tuesday night, showers likely, mostly cloudy. 46, chance of rain, 60%. Wednesday, there's a chance of showers, mostly cloudy, 52. The chance is 30%. And then Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, 38. Thursday. Now, this is your Sunday, and uh, I don't want you to get all too happy, but uh, partly sunny with a high of 46, and uh, that has to be the day that uh, you really get out and enjoy. The sun comes out a little stronger on Friday with a high of 45, and as we look towards the weekend, partly sunny with a high Saturday 44 and then next Sunday a high of 43. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, we're going to take this break here from these great sponsors and we'll be right back. Standing by this. My Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station.
Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program. Located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There's more than meets the eye. You got a gift from the Newcastle I try. The right small town for living. Look around. NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it here for... Remember, tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And... Make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on down the road.